Hi, Chris Morris here. Welcome to tutorial 7 on getting to know your school laptop. This topic we're talking about storage and where to save things. Now, digital data has increased in size if we start to think about some of the things that we are creating, like Word documents. Many uh, of our Word documents now contain pictures and many of our PowerPoint presentations create pictures and consequently every time we add these types of digital data to these uh, files they're getting larger and larger and we start to look at the the whole world of video which is quite a popular medium now we start to talk about fairly large file sizes so we have a decision to make where do we save our data to we could actually save it to our desktop uh, I would generally encourage you not to because it can actually slow your computer down and besides that it can make your desktop very cluttered. If you're sitting at home more than likely you'd be saving to My Documents. Now My Documents is a storage space on the hard drive of the computer and you can see some of the folders that are set up when you first sign in. My Music, My Pictures, My Videos we could create a folder here as well, which I have done, English 2009. I might create another one called Science 2009. So all of my English work could be saved into these, into this folder here, and I could have subfolders, Unit 1, Unit 2, Poetry, or um, TV, Video, Analysis, etc. So. The question is, where, where are we going to get you to save when you're using these laptops? And um, I would be suggesting to you that you actually save to your My Documents folder. That's not the only place. Um, many of you may have lost assignments before using digital storage, like um, your USB uh, might have been corrupted for whatever reason. It's so important to make backups. Um, and I generally tell my students three places of backups are usually a good way of ensuring that you don't lose data. So let's look at that, that whole concept for a moment. You save, you're working on a Word document, you save it directly into your My Documents folder, English. What you could then do at the end of every day is running a little script which will uh, be on your transportable hard disk. You could back up the whole of your My Documents folder to your transportable hard disk so that in the event that the hard disk goes in your laptop you've got a copy which is on your transportable hard disk you could even then back up your transportable hard disk on your home computer that way if any of the three steps breaks down your home computer the hard transportable hard drive or your laptop at least you've potentially got two other methods of obtaining the data from you may be asking, well, what happens to our network drives at school? Um, there's no reason why you still can't use those. Um, when we start talking about doing video and large file formats like video, it really doesn't handle uh, transferring those large file formats over the network. So I would be suggesting that you know, if you are editing video, you would capture to your transportable hard disk and then edit the video from there. Uh, finally you can render it to your um, desktop or uh, My Documents. So it just requires this whole storage of digital data requires a bit of thought uh, but ultimately it will be your responsibility to ensure that the data that you save is uh, kept um, in uh, various spaces and you know um, it says quite clearly in the assessment uh, guidelines that you know failure to uh, save data and keep it uh, backed up is an excuse for non-submission of, of uh, assessment tasks. So um, I'll be encouraging all of you to back up your data regularly and um, then everything should be okay. Good spending the time with you again on managing the data that we will create at school. Bye.